Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with Mr. Coder, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to solve right, left, wrong. Question D from Code Forces around 966, Division 3. So Vlad found a strip of N cells numbered from left to right from 1 to N. And in the I cell, there is a positive integer AI and a letter SI, where all SI are either L or R. So that means it's a string which can either have L or R in it. And there can be some of both. And Vlad invites you to try to score the maximum possible points by performing any possibly zero number of operations. In one operation, you can choose two indices, L and R, such that S of L equals to L and S of R equals to R, and do the following. So you add, you add the sum of all the numbers from that those two indices from the array together, and then you replace every single one of these with... Uh, dots instead of L and R. So for example, if you decided for this case to do L and R here, this L and this R matching together, then three and five you add together to get eight as your sc current score. Then you, you add to the score and then you change them to dots. And then if we then choose this, this indice to this indice, then you add 10 to your score. And then you set all these to dots. And then you can't perform another operation after. So then, yeah, you can't perform another operation after. And then what is the maximum score that you can achieve? So this one was explained in the sample. And then uh, we'll also have this test case, which is uh, two, 2 and 8, and then L and R, that's like 10, because the, there's only one. But this one, there's like nothing. You can't do anything, because there's no pairs of L and R. And then for this test case, you can, instead of like taking this L, R, and then this whole L, R, R, that'll get you some 15. You can actually do this instead. So if you take this... L to this R, and you'll be 15. And then if you take this, or, well, if you take this L and R first, then that'll make it so that it would be 3 and 4, which will be, that'll be 3 and 4, which is 7. And then you do this L, R, which then you can go, reuse these, and then you'll get a total thing of 15 plus 7, which is 22. So yeah, so basically, first off, you need to make sure to do prefix sums on the array, which is pr a pretty simple way of getting O of 1 querying. So O of 1 queries for range sum on a, a static array. And then, so basically you can keep doing two pointers to greedily get the first uh, left and then the last right. And it's shown that that will always be opposite. That'll always be more optimal because you never want to like have a risk of like leaving out a number. So you always want to choose the first L and the last R. And then you see if you want to see if the like the first L is after the first R or uh, uh, or the last L is well, you want to see if the first R is uh later than the last L. Or for the first L is later than the last R, sorry. And then if that's the case, then it's impossible. Or if there's neither of them, if like one of them's missing, then it's also impossible to have an LR pair. And then you greedily get that one by adding it to the prefix sums. And then you keep changing the two pointers. And then for this one, you really want to make sure, like you might be wondering, like for example, for this test case, right? If you If you do this, well, if we do uh, this test case, for example, it's like it, you might be wondering, like, if my code says to do this L and then this R, and then you change them all, and then you keep going. But then, like, these two you can't do anymore. But then, like, these, this is just doing it in reverse, basically. Because, like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't ask you for the steps. It only asks you for the total amount. So you can do it in reverse, and as long as you're not overcounting, then it will be fine. So, yeah, this... This problem is basically a two pointers problem. So yeah, this that's how you solve right, left, wrong. 
Question D from Code Forces, round 966, Division 3. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.